Hello, everybody. Um, yeah, it's me. Uh, yeah, in case none of you know who I am, which all of you should, because only a few people watch these videos. Uh, I'm Hildegain. Hi. And I'll be playing I'll Awake. Uh, yeah, I would not invert that, ever. Never mind. Uh, yeah, we are going to be playing on PC. Alan Wake. Yay! Everything on decent quality. FX AA off because it's uh, actually um, kind of not very awesome looking in my opinion. It just softens things too much. Shadow quality on low, and you'll see why. On low, frame rate will stay at 60 for me. On medium, frame rate may drop to 20 now and then. On high, frame rate may drop to 5 now and then. All the rest doesn't matter. So, yeah, shadows may look shit in some areas. Sorry. Uh, if they patch the game in the middle of this let's play, then you'll have a reason why sometimes, you know, shit looks better. Also, the cutscenes are rendered within the game engine, but they were pre rendered in lower resolution, so the gameplay will actually look better than the cutscenes. So you'll get to see why um, soon. And uh, let's dive right into this, eh? And we are playing on normal because we haven't completed the game yet. Which means we can't select Nightmare. I actually would like to do it on Nightmare, but oh well. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why. But there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. It's a very simple introduction, but it works. And the music's awesome. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Many stories do. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. Urgent I'd reason? I driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Reasons! Let's check him. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Make sure he has reasons. Well, check if he has reasons, rather. Ah, oh, crap. He was dead. No reasons. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Ah. Well, you might see her in Wonderland. You never know. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, um... He disappeared. Suddenly, his body was gone. His body. His body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Now, right now, my frame rate is really nice and smooth. And you don't really see right now what the bad thing is with the shadows that I was talking about since they're on low quality. But anyway, we'll look up. No. Now then, the shadows are indeed on the lowest quality. <sighs> yep. We do get the odd annoyance. Um, but yeah, so I think for the most part, yes, you better not. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. But yeah, um, yeah, all right, all right. For this part, I could probably, I could probably get away with it. You'll see why in later scenes that I, it will start to cause my game to go slower. Now I'm at 28 frames. I'm trying to record at 30 and I'm at 28, 29. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Oh yeah, there it is. So you can't really tell the difference, can you? But oh well. We'll see how well this goes. <laughs> we Birds. 
I hate birds. Oh, I do hope we don't run into Steve Bloom out here. Oh dear. Steve Blum, rather. Yeah, I've already played this and recorded a bit. I had the recordings fucked up twice. So this is my third time doing the beginning of the game. Yay! What's going on? Oh. Whoa! You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can uh, make up stuff? Dude. Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Never mind. You're in this story now, and I'll make you do something. You're a joke. It would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, cause I'm gonna kill you. No. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. I think I did rather well on you, dude. I mean, I got you to be voiced by Steve Bloom. You're still there. I can still see you. You actually didn't disappear. Oh, now you did. Oh, well. Holy crap, I'm missing. And there's a big daddy on there. Oh, yeah, and this thing is like some sort of mobile phone thing that you can take a picture of and it gives you an Easter egg. You know, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Hop. Fucking lights are going out. You missed your deadline! Well, I'm not gonna die, so. Hey, dude. Hi. You can't stop me! You missed me! Missed me, missed me, now you've gotta kiss me! Never mind. Open, 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 open. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? You tell me. <laughs> oh fuck, because you've been creating a nightmare and you're gonna die here. But yeah. 26 frames. Yeah, I suppose it could be worse. This way, this way! This way! We. We. Zigzag. Let's just walk. Hey, Stuart, remember? Nope. Quickly, get inside. There's no time to lose. Quickly. Okay. I'm going as fast as I can. Inside now. Okay. Oh no. Oh dear. Stop. No. Damn it! Die. No. No. no! <gasps> Ooh. Smackles. Yeah, I think we're screwed. There was no way out. Um. Die. 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 I can't even see what that book is. Cream pie faith. Never mind. We. Oh, it was a death trap. I had to get out. Oh, he's smashing the front off. I think we're okay. Nope. <sighs> Follow the light. Okay, Mr. God. You are hurt. You should go into the light. Yeah. You are only safe there. Woohoo! Well done. I have something important to tell you. Yeah. Like this. 
For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Okay. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. Okay. Time, I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. Uh huh. This protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Well, that sounds fun. Take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Hey, don't push me. Boom! You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Oh well. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. No, don't go. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Mm hmm. Well, uh, we better get to that lighthouse then. Let's go. You said that before, Steve. Doesn't mean it's actually gonna happen, though. This is it. Whoa! Aha! All right, no problemo. Yeah, pick some stuff up, and yeah, we just like me. Well, you are half right. You are dead. Yay! We. I can keep this up. Good luck with that. Oh look, I'm on the thing, Alan Wake. Never mind. Never mind. Ow! I'm having a heart attack. Get away! No! Stop telling me to tap it to reload faster. I already know. I've done it a million times. Die! See, 22 frames. Shit. <laughs> 